We ain't shit. Man, what's your problem? You my fucking problem! People sweat on the street, you don't even give a fuck! I think you're exaggerating. That's bullshit, man! We run from the cops, we run from Rodimans, we run from security guards, we run from old man quills in this fucking bullshit store when he come with that bullshit gun! All he do is fucking run! The black man, the so-called Negro, the so-called nigger, the so-called African-American, the so-called black man. Don't you know, black men, that they remind you, they remind you constantly that you ain't shit. <laughs> I'm just going to make this video short, simple, and plain. Don't have a, I don't have to use too many words too many extensive words don't have to use a broadened vocabulary to get straight to the point the media and everybody else reminding you black man that you ain't shit they reminding you and telling you constantly that you are not shit and you will never be shit in this society they keep that in remembrance so that you will never forget that you ain't shit in this society they constantly show you and you constantly pretty much whine about it that he remind you that you ain't shit black man in this society I mean you see it for yourself I mean you got Mike Tyson Ray Rice the list goes on Allen Iverson the list goes on they remind you on a daily basis that you ain't shit black man You ain't shit, black man. You ain't shit. I don't give a damn if, if your woman attack you in the elevator. You don't supposed to defend yourself. You a black man and you ain't shit. And as soon as you put your hands on that black woman, I'm going to make it hard for you. I'm going to take your career away from you. I'm going to make you regret that you ever put your hands on that black woman. Because you ain't shit black man <laughs> you ain't shit and I'm gonna keep reminding you that you are not shit in this society and I will put your woman above your sorry ass this is what this system do to you black man it's a constant reminder that you ain't shit can't even defend yourself not against the law not against a woman not against your own children if you beat the black woman you're going to jail becoming a felon even if you discipline your own child your own seed that came out of your nutsack you can't even discipline your child once again all a reminder black man that you ain't shit in this system if you don't believe me, man, just look around for yourself. Take the goddamn sunglasses off and look for yourself. They remind you every day that you ain't shit. And if you want to be shit or somebody or be a stand-up nigger, just, be, just behave like Jay-Z when his uh, wife, sister was whooping his ass in, in the elevator. That's a man that wasn't defending himself, but he still has his career. But he was labeled a punk because he let a woman whoop his ass and spit in his face without defending himself. You still ain't shit. And then you have Ray, Ray Rice 
also an incident that happened in the elevator which he was attacked by his wife and he was defending himself as a man and look what happened still treated like shit once again black man is a constant reminder that you ain't shit in this society don't you know the homosexual man got more fucking right than you at this point in this society got more right than you black man a constant reminder that you ain't shit in this society you're just a no good thug all you do is make babies and don't take care of them that's a stereotype on you on us black men or on you black men a constant reminder that you ain't shit you ain't got no power to change anything only power that you have is none <laughs> no power at all to change or do anything a constant reminder that you ain't shit you can't even handle your own woman you can't even put your own woman in check you can't so you go on the outside of that in search of another woman of a different ethnic because you can't handle your own woman that's how weak and pathetic you are black man and is a constant reminder and you know it is they always remind me remind you black man that you ain't shit and you never will be shit using your own woman against you to bring you down to tear you down in the meantime she's being lifted up over you <laughs> overpowering you only time the, 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 some of these black women or black bitches give a fuck about you if you gay or if you're a bisexual man or you just a weak ass man somebody that would agree and then go along with their agenda of course a gay man would go along with that bitch agenda because the more that these bitches remain in power that the homosexuals get their power just constantly reminding you that you ain't shit. How the fuck a man like Tyler Perry get all these women's attention and money? Here's a grown ass man dressing up as a fucking woman. You know what I'm saying? They know this. They know that he's a man in costume to look like them. But they love that gay dude because he caters to them. A reminder once again, black man, you ain't shit. You ain't shit in this society. And if you don't believe me, fuck it, you ain't got to believe me. You ain't got to take my word for it. I could just be some old knucklehead just rambling rambling speaking nothing <laughs> but somebody gonna hear the truth in his message and somebody gonna recognize that you ain't shit black man in this society ain't shit and they constantly reminding you that you ain't shit And that's the way it's going down. And you never will be shit. <laughs> Black man. And, and to those guys that say that they're the better man, I got news for you. You ain't shit either. <laughs> 
you ain't shit. You ain't got no authority. You ain't got no power. You just another weak black man in the system being pimped and being constantly reminded that you ain't shit in this system. Even though you puff yourself up to be something when you're nothing. You ain't shit. My video. Trying to tell me I ain't shit? I ain't trying to tell you shit. I tell your mama you ain't shit.